Hello everyone, my name is Jonathan and I'm part of the eLearn team at Barnet and Southgate College. I'll be introducing to you Google Drive. This is the main website of Google Drive. First thing you do have to do is sign up by clicking the sign up button. If you click on sign up it will take you through the sign up process of Google account. Since I've already have one, I'm just gonna sign in. Once you sign in, you get a page like this, which is completely blank. When you first sign in, you'll notice you'll, at the bottom left, it will show how much space you have. With Google Drive, the first time you sign in, you're entitled to 5, gig of, five gigabytes of data that you can put in. If you want more, you have to just click on Upgrade Storage, and it'll, another tab will open up, and there's a couple of plans that you can sign up for to add more space to your Google Drive account. There are a number of different features that can be found on Google Drive. First thing is the ability to create your own document which can be a Word document, a presentation, a spreadsheet. You can also create an online form and a drawing. You can also add more apps by clicking on connect more apps. That way you can install more apps onto your Google Drive account. And also when you create your document by clicking on create a document it looks just like a normal word document you can change the font you can insert images you can insert your drawing set headers footers it works exactly like um, Microsoft Word and the good thing about this Google is it, it's free anyone can use it it's web enabled so in order for you to use it you just need really uh, Internet Explorer or Google Chrome Google Chrome is probably the most likely to be used because it's, it's the one that's most compatible with Google Drive. The same goes for op creating a presentation. Looks as similar to PowerPoint presentation. You can add your own theme. I'm just going to add Western one, press OK. Wait for that to load. And you've added your theme. You can do it while on the move you can do it but on your phone I'm just going to create a spreadsheet which works the same way as Excel just type create a spreadsheet and say it save it do anything you like with it the only thing that's most likely different is the forms which is new it allows you to create a form which can be shared to anyone who has Google Drive I mean who has a Google account so I'm just going to set up a, a sample form. You can add questions. You can you can add whether or not you want a multiple question. You add text, and once you do you do that, you can also check your response, which can appear on the spreadsheet, which is a very unique thing that Google Drive has added. Another feature is the ability to upload any file you want, file and files, sorry, to your Google Drive by just click on Files. Pick a file you want to download and just upload it. You can also upload a whole file, if, a folder if you want to. So if you've got a whole file of uh, information, documents, things like that, you can just click on upload and it will upload the file for you. And also on the left, it will show you what you exactly have on your Google Drive. You can also share um, documents with people. Put starred, which is what what exactly has anyone changed anything recent, which is all the documents you've added so far, and also another feature you can add is you can download Google Drive to your computer. Just going to say accept, and you can install it from the website, which will be saved automatically every time you add go onto the internet on your laptop or your computer, it will automatically be saved onto your computer. You can also have the ability to share your documents with other people by clicking on click, clicking on the document you want to save, I mean share. If you hold down shift, you can also share more than one. Once you click on, if you click on one you want, you click on share, which is the man there with a plus next to it. And you type in their email. And since I've already shared it with someone, as you can see, is he, there's someone who's an owner and he's shared a document with me. I have the ability to edit it, I can comment it, I can view it, all depends on me, I can also stop myself from sharing the document. And let's say you've forgotten what exactly is in the document, you can just highlight the document you want, so I'm just going to click on the secret world, that, you click on preview, 
and you can preview what exactly is in the file without having to click outside of your page and once you're done you just have to click the X and it will close it for you and if you have, if you need if you need more space you can just literally just highlight a file you want to do Oops, that's too much just untick these boxes so I'm just going to tick a box you just have to click on the remove button and it will remove the application from you but let's say you've messed up you can just click on undo and it will give you back the file that you've recently deleted there are also some features to the right which enables you to sort your uh, documents to say you have a lot you can just say last modified and it will show you what exactly when exactly the last one was modified at what time also check you can also sort it by last edited by me last opened by me also change the way it looks to a grid map which shows what exactly or is the file I'm just going to switch it back to list and also change the settings so let's say you want a more comf a, a compact view you can make it compact which will make it look like this or you can make it cozy which will look like this or you can just comfortable which is like a big nice clean version of it and if you would let's change your settings just click on settings you can change you can cho your, choose your language your time zone how, how the items will be opened it also shows you how much space you have you can also here's where you can also edit your Google profile so if you click on your Google profile it will take you to a page like this is called Jonathan plus Jonathan the reason why this would be useful for teachers and students is first of all you can create your own documents which include your Word documents, Excel documents, PowerPoint documents all over the internet and when you do create them they will save automatically onto your Google Drive account so a lot of people will be happy with the way um, Google Drive works